What's up everybody, Neil here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to acquire immersive mode on your non-rooted KitKat or Android L device. Now immersive mode, what it will essentially do is remove your status bar and your navigation bar. Now not just from your home screen, but you also can do this in apps, which actually looks a lot better because when you're in certain applications, you get these dark, bold, black borders. So we're going to show you how to basically get rid of these. So unlike the rooted version, you don't need to root your device or install exposed framework. All you need is one application called GMD Full Screen Immersive Mode. So we're going to go ahead and tap on that and show you how to set it up. Now, as you can see, it's already in immersive mode on this app. So let's just put it back to normal. So you want to go into general first. Now in general, we're going to make some minor changes. You're going to make sure that notification is always on. This will enable you to have access to the type of immersive mode you have from your notification panel. You can have an invisible icon so you don't have the the um, app icon in your status bar. So I enabled that and you can also enable to start on boot if you want it to automatically start every time you restart your device or reboot your device. So let's go back and let's go into trigger. You can make some minor changes in here as well. You can enable in navigation. Now basically what this does is enable full screen trigger when navigation bar visible. So if I had this checked, I would have a, um, a red trigger right now while my nav bar is on. So we'll go back and show you how that looks because when you actually make it immersive you get a small red trigger area which you can change if you upgrade to the pro version you can actually make it transparent or any color you want so there's the trigger mode how you activate it I put a swipe so you just swipe it to activate your soft keys or sorry your your navigation and status bar once in immersive mode you can also adjust the delay, trigger width, position and sensitivity so let's go ahead and show you how this looks. Let's say we're surfing the web, want to be in immersive mode. You can choose up here to disable. You can have just the nav bar disappear or you can have full immersive. So there's that red trigger area that I mentioned. So there you go, check it out. And if you want to access the keys again, you would just slide up and there they are. Now with that option that I unchecked, it basically removes the red trigger area once I activate the nav bar again, just so you know. So there are some issues, one being that the per app basis, you go save for app, um, immersive mode, you need to upgrade first, first of all. And second of all, it doesn't work with Android L just yet, but Android L hasn't made its full release or official release yet, so hopefully this gets fixed before that date. And also to use the keyboard, let's show you, you need to disable immersive mode. So let's say I want to type up here, you see the keyboard's not there. So I would just have to just disable it and then I'll be able to type what I need to. So the fact that it's in your notification shade it makes it pretty convenient and easy to access and utilize. So there you go, definitely check it out. It looks great, especially when doing some reading or you know just browsing the web. Check out the full article for the links and the descriptions. Definitely don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more awesome videos. Thanks for watching.